What's up, guys? We're at the Crown Plaza on Broad Street for the 2009 RavenCon. You don't know what that is? Neither do I. Let's go find out. I mean, um, this is a pretty tight thing you got going on. Oh, only the pants, really. Everything else pretty do. Well, I, I meant tight in a <laughs> slang term. So are they, like, super competitive with it? No, not really? that much, no. It's it's a very low-key show here. Okay. To, like, at the anime, anime conventions, they're competitive to the point that they will sabotage all the costumes in the green room. It is nasty from things that I've heard. Uh, Have you sabotaged anyone, Judy? No, I do not sabotage anyone but myself. <laughs> Do you fight in armor? And I was like, that seems like, because you seem like such a calm, gentle soul to see you fighting in an armor would be a little, it's, it's kind of scary a little bit. So is he nice? Oh, kind of very nice. And he's good. He uh, will come and groom you and get off the mites and the lice and things like that. He's, he's a very good pet around the house. <laughs> yeah, I feel the same way. I mean, completely. It's from the Chronicles of Riddick. I don't. It's the sequel to Pitch Black. It came out. Vin Diesel's in it, right? Yes. Yeah. It, it, and it's actually one of my favorite costumes because it's just as detailed and intricate on the back. And actually, I often get pictures asked to get pictures of my back more often than my front. <laughs> That's what she said. Da -da 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 -da. Um, Nobody knew me by my real name anymore. It was all Wombat. In fact, that's my license plate on my car. I'm literally in the phone book under Wombat. So it's safe to say that you really love Wombat. Yes, yes. Wombats are cute and cuddly, just like me. <laughs> you have bears. I have several bears. So is, is, there, is there a theme to your bears? Yes, yeah, Stargate SG-1. The whole crew. Everybody. So how much does, so how much does one of your bears run for? I wouldn't know. I oh, do you not sell them? Are they just I, for show? I've been offered over three hundred dollars for one. That's ridiculous. I think this might be the most amazing thing I've seen so far. It's the gaming room that's been open since two p.m. Friday till three p.m. Sunday, which you know sounds kind of intense. I love hand puppets, and when I was at CoastCon last month, I brought a cockroach along, a hand puppet, who absolutely stole the show. Everyone loved the cockroach. They wanted to come and pet my roach. We're Lazy Scouts. We're for Dr. Steele's Toy Army. Okay, Dr. Steele's Toy Army. Basically, okay, so we're all toy soldiers. Exactly. What we're doing is we're going around trying to build a world into a utopian playland. Spreading the word of fun and Dr. Steele yes. through his music and through his propaganda. It kind of sounds like like a hippie movement, a little bit. Kind of, except not enough weed. <laughs> <laughs> How clean is this thing? I mean, you've, you've worked hard to keep that clean. I mean, you don't even want to know where it's been. And I took him down to Dragon Con, and he was a serious hit. Really? He got invited to all the parties. Wow, man, I need to hang out with him. And uh, this is the first time I've, I've worn the corset. This is my very first corset. Uh, well, so, congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Um, I've got a three-headed dragon, which I love very dearly. I mean, how can you not love a three-headed dragon? Yes, I mean, you have much more sense if you have three heads. <laughs>